Wine Spectator rates more than 15,000 wines in blind tastings each year. From them, we choose 100 of the very best. Not necessarily the highest scoring, but the most exciting. Value, quality, story. And we boil that down to 100 wines, and this is number one. You ready? Yeah. Okay, okay let's, let's do it. Let's do All right, it. number one wine of 2018. And it might be from Italy, I see. Is Tenuto Sanguido Sassacaya 2015, a Cabernet-based red from the Bulgari region of Tuscany, cost $245 245 a bottle. and scored 97 okay. points. Wow. And now I'm going to do a the anything operation. Anything you consider uh, is, is over 90, is that correct? That's correct. That's about a third of the wines that we review over Does 90. it go across the board? It, it could be a sparkling? Sure, we have a, one. we have a sparkling in the top 10 this year. Ros Rosés are hot, aren't they? We have a John Bon Jovi Rosé in the top 100 oh, this year. Oh, wow. You're yes. kidding me. No. Yeah, is that just a coincidence really or is that really from uh, no, it's him? Really him? No, it's really him. I'm kidding. That was so th yeah. this yeah. wine. like Arm and Hammer if yeah. it wasn't. Uh, Right? The reason we chose this wine is because it has the pedigree of an aristocrat and the soul of a pioneer. Is, it, it, is the number one wine always so red? I, I think. Uh, no, 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 it doesn't have to be red. That's so cool. Let me say that again. What, what was it again? The pedigree of an aristocrat you and the check. soul of a pioneer. That's me. Uh, in addition to that, no. This uh, began as a home winemaking project in 1940. Mar Mario and Cesare de la Rocchetta, an Italian nobleman, moved to the t his estate on the Tuscany coast. He missed the Bordeaux that he drank in Rome, and so he planted some Cabernet vines in the hills behind his house. Bulgari, at that point, was very rustic, made just plonk. This was different and better, and in 1968, Piero Antonori, the great vintner, uh, convinced so how, Mario to commercialize it. How hard is it going to be to find this wine now? That it well, they made 17,000 cases, so okay. there's a lot. There's a lot. And It'll what, be on restaurant wine lists. And yeah, so what is it? What is this decision going to do for their business? Well, not just this year, but frankly, I imagine the next the five years. For forever. Yes, uh, this is only the fourth Italian wine ever to be named number one. Really? They're going to be celebrating it. Um, you bought. Do, do they know in advance? Mm -mm. So they're watching wow. right now and finding out. They could be. And they hopefully are throwing. Do a we party need to, to put the little? Bre you, no. you bought one of those for me. The little breather. Bottle stopper. I no, bought the breather. A breather. The breather. A long time ago. A long time yeah. ago. It wasn't really a fair trade because I got them a queen. So 245 on. might sound like a lot of money, but for a 97 point wine, the average. We don't price, need to let it breathe. No. Was oh. 350. 350. So there's actually right. a value. Cheers. Do we actually? Cheers. Are you supposed to slice it around like that? I never yes. know why people do that. That because it releases the aromas. That's, that's, we're, that's to, a we're toasting a Marvin yeah. South. He's good. Marvin South is very good. That's Thank good. you. All right. Yes. All right. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's so very smooth. I don't Dude, usually drink nice. red wine. 2015, a great yeah. vintage right. in uh, Italy, especially in Tuscany. And the great thing about this wine, it'll be even better in 20 or 30 years.